Hello friends, welcome to jQuery video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand steps to use jQuery or how to use jQuery. The first step in using jQuery is to download the jQuery file. In the previous video tutorial, we have already downloaded a jQuery file with the name jQuery-3.2.1.min.js which is available at the desktop. You can see that jQuery-3.2.1.min and the next step is to create an HTML document. In the previous video tutorial, we have created one new HTML document with the name default. I right click on default.html open with the notepad. You can see that default.html is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to jQuery demo. Within the body section, we have created one h1 element. Within that, we have written the text heading one text. To uniquely identify this h1 element in the page, we have given an id attribute value heading one. I minimize the notepad. I right click on default.html open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html is open in the Chrome, title is set to jQuery demo and heading one text is displayed in the browser. The next step is to link the downloaded jQuery file to the created HTML document. We need to link the downloaded jQuery file to created HTML document to write the jQuery code and execute. Without linking or without loading the jQuery file in our HTML document, we cannot write and execute the jQuery code. So what we are going to do in this video tutorial, we are going to link the jQuery file to our HTML document. To link the jQuery file, we take help of the script tag. The script tag is a pair tag. We are going to write here opening script tag and closing script tag. Within the opening script tag, I am going to use the src attribute. To that, we give the source file path or the source file name. I minimize the notepad. I minimize word. I minimize the Chrome. I'm going to copy the name of this jQuery file. I copy it and paste it in the src attribute .js. That is a file extension. Next, we are going to use the type attribute. To that, I'm going to assign the value text or JavaScript. That's it. This is how we link the jQuery file to HTML document or we are going to load the jQuery file in the HTML document so that later we can write the jQuery code and execute. I hope you guys have clearly understood how to link the jQuery file to HTML document. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to code up to here. In the next video tutorial, we are going to follow the next step. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.